Hey guys, and welcome to the first video under the Let's Watch title. This will be the first ever one done, and we're going to marathon the first four series of the Lucy Morgan Project. So, let's start with series one. In its entirety. It covers episodes one to eight. Here we go. Rude and racist. What a glorious sunny day it is. Gorgeous. It is, isn't it? I don't remember inviting you to join me. Why not? It's just that. Your kind creep me out. So bug off. Are you always this rude when someone of a different color crosses your path? I'm not obliged to answer that, you chocolate brownie. So go away, tar face. Lucy Jane Morgan. Oh. Look at me. Right now, how dare there. you let me catch you speaking obscenity to this poor boy. That's very naughty, and I'm very cross with you. But he's a rich tea biscuit that's been held in too long. Enough of that. I'm not raising my daughter to be a racist. You're a very naughty girl. I'm not apologizing to this chocolate brownie. He's a tar-faced idiot. That's it. Okay. I'm taking you home, and when we get in, you are to go to your room. No way. Yes way. As of this moment you little missy, are grounded. That's not fair. That is so fair. Furthermore, you can have a nappy on as well. Naughty baby. A nappy? Mm, but. That's not good. No buts. As soon as we get in, you are having a nappy on, and going straight to your room for being so naughty. You are going to start having okay. nappies on, every time you go out. Now, and on. an appointed guardian will change you when you need it. You can start having them on in school as well. To episode 2. The Babysitter. This is my daughter Lucy. You'll be watching her while I'm out. I see. Is there something else I should know? Like, is she a naughty girl or... Oh, she can be very naughty indeed. How should I punish her if she's naughty? She's actually grounded for rudeness and racism a couple of days ago. But you can punish her however you see fit. Oh, and she's been in nappies for a couple of days too. Okay, got it. I'll look after her to the best of my ability. Oh, and if you take her out... Change her nappy first, and then pack a changing bag. She has to wear them out as well. How old is she? I'm ten. What's your name? My name's Grace. I'll be your minder for today, oh, and yeah. possibly your guardian as well, and Emma. If your daughter's ten, grounding her should be sufficient enough. I'll take that advice on board. The reason for my behavior is my mum and dad divorced when I was three, and I'm still hurting from it. Oh Lucy. I'm so sorry I never explained to you why your dad and I divorced. He was abusive, and I was trying to protect you. I appreciate that, Mum. Okay, now on to episode 3, which is Lucy's Guardian. Here we are, Lucy. You need it after being grounded for so long. Thanks, Grace. You look a bit younger than when we met. What are you trying to say? I hope it's not something naughty. If it was, I'm taking you home and putting you to bed. And grounding you for two weeks. I was merely pointing out that you were an older woman last week. Not to mention a lot taller. Lucy yeah, Jane Morgan, no that is very naughty. How dare you speak to me like that? You are being such a brat. I warned you. When we get in, you are going to bed. Naughty girl. 
You're also grounded for two weeks. You can't ground me. I certainly can. I'm your guardian. And your mum said I could punish you however I see fit. That's the third week for telling me I can't do my job. Now on to episode 4, Help Me to Understand. Halfway through series 1 guys. Why would anyone want to hurt mum so badly? I don't get it. You're such a sweetie aren't you, Lucy? My daughter the little angel. There's something troubling on my mind. What's troubling you? I'm your mother, you can tell me anything. It's just that. I don't understand why that jerk who calls himself my father would have wanted to hurt his then wife. Oh Lucy. I understand your confusion over that. He did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. Despite knowing he'd end in prison for it. Would he have begun treating me like it if you hadn't divorced him? He would have done. Unfortunately he wanted a son, and when you came out, he turned bitter and snapped. You did the right thing then. But why not when I was born instead of five years later? I wanted to see if he'd come to his senses and accept you as his child, but he still refused. What an ungrateful pig he was. I'm glad he's not here now. Up to episode 5. Lucy's Secret. So I have a secret that mum doesn't. Like the fact her daughter is hiding. Lucy Jane Morgan. I thought you were past this naughty behavior. What naughty behavior? I've no idea what you mean. Don't you sit there and tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. That's very naughty. But I don't though. Lucy Jane Morgan. You know damn well what I'm talking about. You just said you had a secret I didn't need to know. You're trying to hide something from me, which is also very naughty. How dare you lie to me about such deception, and just deny it. Don't you expect me to be naughty sometimes? Yes, but I don't expect you to lie to me about keeping secrets and flat out try to deny it. That's ridiculously naughty. And you must be punished. Punished? Yes. Oh, yeah, Until you come out and admit to your crime, friends. you are sentenced to serve time of Six months grounded, oh, and eight months in nappies. You deserve it. The grounding I'll accept, but the nappies? Isn't that extreme? And extreme so discretions you. deserve a punishment to fit the crime committed, so your nappies are going back on. And on the double. Episode 6 Lucy in big trouble. What a day I had at school. Being naughty I take it. Naughty? What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. I received a call from your teacher telling me you were very naughty. Yeah, I wasn't. There we go. Honest. Lucy Jane Morgan. Don't you dare play the innocent act with me. You're ten years old now, and it's not going to work. But I haven't done anything wrong. Calling your teacher a liar was at the top of the list. On top of that, you called another child a crybaby and told him to change his nappy. Tease a girl for being ginger. Refused to participate in a class debate, hissed at a deaf boy telling him to pay attention, called your assistant by her given name, snuck outside during your detention. Punched an older girl provoking her to fight you, handed a fake report to the headmaster accusing another child of swearing in class, used several swear words, three of them sexual. Teased an asthmatic boy with okay. his inhaler, threatened to break a number of children's legs, and put nappers on a set of twins who were crying because they'd been bleed. All of those things are disgusting, and you are very naughty for doing them. You could get expelled for this. 
How am I to be punished? I was just coming to that. For most of this naughty episode, you are grounded until I say so. But for the last thing on the list, you are to get a taste of your own medicine. Meaning? Meaning I am putting nappers on you. See how you like that. You can't be serious. Oh I am. You are having yeah. nappers on, and I, or whoever's available will change you whenever you need it. Now to episode 7. Which is called... Pushing the envelope too far. So there's just being plain naughty, and there's being so naughty, that you end up pushing it too far. Lucy, you're doing so well with your behavior. It would be a shame if you ruined it all by being naughty now. Mum. I'm just trying to mull over the pushing it with naughty behavior. I'm not stupid enough to misbehave now. Lucy Jane Morgan, that is a very foul attitude, and you are very naughty for considering it. Blah blah blah. Booring. Lucy, you've been good all day and I was going to put it on your rewards chart but you can forget about it now. Why? Because you're being naughty. You deserve it for your behavior. You are pushing it. At least I've still got Mel's party tonight. Oh no you don't. Your behavior these past few minutes has been very naughty. You're grounded. Get upstairs to bed, right now. How very naughty my daughter is. She's a ten-year-old girl and her behavior is excessive. And now on to the series one finale, episode eight. Lucy calms down. I hope Lucy's had a good day at school. I'm so glad she's decided to calm down with the naughtiness. She's been so chilled out and better behaved since. I'm home from school, mother. So, Lucy dear, tell me, how was school today? It started off like every other school day. Headmaster Jackson and Mrs. McFadden thought I was playing a naughty joke on them when I said I'm calming the behavior down, so they each gave me one week's detention. When the detention monitor saw that I wasn't misbehaving, she released me, telling them that I was telling the truth. What happened after that? I paid attention in class, and eventually got nominated for student monitor. The election is next week. It's between me and three other children. Go Lucy. I'm so proud of you. Good behavior and hard work do pay off. We'll have to wait till next week to find out if I've won the election or not. Of course we will. It doesn't matter if you don't win. They are bound to give you some sort of position. I've had enough excitement for one day. I agree with you there, my sweet daughter. You sit here next to mummy and cuddle up. I love you, mum. I love you too, sweetheart. And that is the end of series one. I hope you enjoyed that one. Because now it's time to progress on to series two, which is ten episodes long. Covering Episodes 9 to 18. Here we go. So starting, of course, on the series premiere, episode 9. The Return of Lucy. Lucy, where are you? Oh, that daughter of mine. She's probably hiding somewhere. Nope, I'm nowhere near a hiding place. Where were you then? I was upstairs in the bathroom brushing my teeth. For 15 minutes. Don't talk such nonsense, Lucy. 
It only takes about two minutes to do that. All right. I was getting myself up after a nine hour sleep. Nine hours? I want honesty from you now. Did you stay up past your bedtime? You're naughty if you did. I did but only by an hour. Go Lucy, you are very naughty. You have a set bedtime for a reason. I lost track of time. Yep. That's okay then. Try not to let it happen again. I'll try but I can't promise anything. That's what being ten is all about. My sweet daughter. I'll just sit here and relax. You remind me of me when I was your age. Wow. You were ten once? Of course I was, you daft girl. I haven't always been a grown woman. That must have been fifty years ago. No it certainly wasn't, you cheeky little monkey. I'm not sixty years old. How long ago was it? Forty years ago? No it certainly wasn't, you naughty girl. I'm not fifty either. Thirty years and ago? We have... You must be closer to forty by now. Stop being cheeky, Lucy. I was only eighteen when I had you, and unmarried when you were born. So, you're twenty-eight years old right now? That's correct. I had no idea you were that young when you had me. Lift off. No, and my not useless really. father left because he wanted a son. Actually, Lucy, as far as I'm concerned, your father died when you were born. There will be no further mention of him under this roof. Anything you say, Mum. That's my little girl. You did raise me from birth, all by yourself. Making sure I was happy and healthy. And I am to this day. I am glad to hear it. After all, I didn't change your nappers until you were six to see you turn away. I do love being an only child. Well, I do plan to make you a big sister one of these days. That will be great. I'd better go now. Before I wet myself, there goes my good little girl, precious little baby. I wish I was still changing her nappers. You wish you were still changing my nappies? That's right. Why aren't you then? Because you're ten, and too old for a baby. Ah, but no matter how old I am, I'm still your little baby. You can treat me okay. as you wish. If you want to change my nappies, then change my nappies. Not at ten I won't. You should be treated like a big girl. And now we move on into... Episode 10, I believe, which is called Emma's Boyfriend. Lucy, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Who do we have here? My name's Gerald, but you can call me Jerry. Relation. He's my new boyfriend, and he's going to be your new father eventually. Before we go any further, we need to get That's to right. know each other. We do indeed, Jerry. I'm Emma's daughter. He knows that already. He needs to know what only you can tell him, my little baby. How am I going to do that? That's easy. We need to bond with each other, so I'm <laughs> taking you to the cinema, followed by dinner and a game of bowling. Yes. That sounds great. What about Mum? Don't worry about me. Yes. Jerry has this time planned for just you two. There's yes. plenty of time for us to spend as a family. There certainly <laughs> is. We've got the rest of our lives to do that. Come on, sweet stepdaughter. Let's step out. Go on. Have fun. I'll see you both when you get back. Love you both. We love you too, Mum. Those two are going to love each other. I just know it. Now moving on to episode 11. Which is... Trouble at the park. This is a beautiful day, isn't it? Lucy, Lucy, you so and juicy and you have no clue. Get time. out of here, Ashley. I hate when it when you do bully. that pathetic rhyme joked about my name. Come on, Lucy, Woosie. Cutesy little baby. I mean it. You best shut up before I let you have it. Now, now, Lucy. 
There's no need for violence. What's the shouting about anyway? Lucy, Lucy, she's so juicy. She has no clue. Right. That's it. I'm not going to lay a finger on Ashley whatsoever. Listen to your mummy now. That's a good baby. Ashley. Yep. Making fun of my name is one thing, but talking to me like I'm a Sorry, baby. Guys. That is <laughs> quite another. Okay, Lucy. Calm down. We can see this has annoyed you, but getting angry about it won't solve anything. Jerry, why don't you take Lucy to the arcade? I'll sort Ashley out. Good idea, honey. Come on, Lucy. Let's get you to the arcade. Now then, Ashley. About your behavior towards Lucy. Yeah. What about it? It's not very nice, is it? I say, Ashley it's the nicest thing I've ever right done. I don't think making jokes about Lucy's name and talking to her like she's a baby is very nice at all, and I think you know that. Seeing how upset she gets by it. Maybe I should be your daughter because you treat me with more respect than my own parents. Why are you ungrateful little swine? I have half a mind to take you home and tell your parents what you've been doing, and what you've just said about them. That's very naughty. Run along and change your baby's nappy. I think she needs it. My baby is a very mature for her age 10 year old. She may be two years younger than you, but she acts a heck of a lot older. I'm 12. Oh really? The way you're acting, people won't be able to tell the difference. You act like a newborn baby, and you need a nappy. You can't do that. You're not my mother. That's it. <laughs> I'm taking you home. And when we get to your house, I will advise your mother to put a nappy on you. And now we come on into episode 12. Late riser. I hope Lucy's okay. okay we she's go. not usually this late getting up. I'm sure she's fine, honey. She's probably getting up now, as we speak. That's exactly what I was doing. There's no need to worry. Okay, sweetheart. Don't get upset. She's not upset, honey. She sounded like she was. Oh, sorry guys. Mum. I'm the happiest girl in the world. I have a loving mother and father, who'll do anything for me. Oh, you are so sweet. It's about time you acknowledge Jerry as your father. I love you just like you're my own daughter, Lucy. So in that sense, you are my little girl. Sod what any DNA tests say. So could you call me dad from now on instead of Jerry? Sure thing, dad. I wouldn't have it any other way. You two have mixed really well and I'm very proud of you both. Especially you, Lucy. I too. I'm really proud of you, my precious little girl. Family hug. Dear Lucy, if we're proud of anything, it's of the sweet, kind and caring little girl you are. Never forget how much we love you, our special little girl. And now into episode 13. Which is, of course, stomach upset. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Dad. How was your night? It was very good, thanks. I slept like a baby. I'm very glad to hear that, sweetheart. Is Mum around? Your mum's just popped to the shop. She'll be back soon. I offered to stay here and look after you. Speaking of which, oh, are you hungry? Right. Starving. In that case, we had better get you some breakfast. What would you like? I'd love to try one of your own brand fry-ups. I have no objections to that request. Come on. One super duper Jerry Summers fry-up coming right up for my little lady. That was scrumptious thanks, Dad. You're very welcome, sweetheart. Oh. I need to do one. Perhaps the fry-up didn't agree with her stomach. Poor thing. You need to be careful with the fry-ups. They upset her stomach. I hope she's okay. So do I. I'll bear that we'll in mind. See. No more fry-ups for her then. If that's how it has to be. So be it. That's very mature of you, Lucy. 
Well done. Of course, Mum. Here's another thing I need you to be mature about. I think you need nappers on. It'll be easier for you than rushing off to the toilet. We'll change you when needed. Okay. Come on then. Let's go and put a nappy on you. All sorted. You'll get better soon, we hope. Eek. Somebody needs changing. Come on, Lucy. It's time to change your nappy. Poor girl. There you go. All done. And now coming into episode 14, which will be... The big news. So, Mum and Dad have big news, eh? I wonder what it is. Lucy, how would you feel if we told you we're getting married? That's awesome. It's about time. That's just the first thing. Another thing you should know is, I am pregnant. So, not only am I getting a father, but I'm going to be a big sister as well. That's right. I'm adopting you to be my daughter, but you can feel free to keep your original surname, if you prefer. I do prefer. May I choose names? We were going to let it be your choice of names anyway, for the baby that is. How about Adam for a boy and Faith for a girl? What excellent names. That's that sorted. Yeah. Sweet girl, <laughs> is our Lucy. What if your ex tries to claim her? Nothing can be done. He had his chance and he refused. I'm glad he's out of the picture. He died when I was born. Remember? Of course he did. Silly me. Let's Didn't mean to bring it up. This is now. I'd like you to be one of my bridesmaids, Lucy. Mum. It would be my honor. Honor sounds like a great name for a girl too. It absolutely does. Now into episode 15. Lying Lucy. Apparently, lying to your parents is right. According to some backward-born child in my class. Now Lucy, that's not very polite is it? Saying a child in your class was born backwards. You're rude aren't you? I didn't say that. Come on Lucy. Don't lie to us. We just heard you saying it. I didn't say it. Lucy, at your age, you should know how wrong it is to tell lies. You're being naughty. I'm not lying, nor am I being naughty. Lucy, you're lying to us about being rude. And that's naughty. You know that. Before you go denying it with another lie, we urge oh, you to yes. stop it and be honest with us. I deny nothing. I lie about nothing. Lucy, stop telling fibs this instant. You're a naughty girl, and you know it very well. It's better if you stop lying to us and start telling the truth. I am telling the truth. No you're not. You're being a very naughty little girl, for being to us all the time. Knowing how naughty it is. You need to be grounded. Grounded? No I don't. Yes you do. And you are, grounded for two weeks. That's for constantly lying to us. Go to your room, naughty girl. <laughs> Honey, I don't agree with grounding Lucy and sending her to her room just for lying to us. You don't. Why not? Well, it's a bit too drastic to punish her for it at all at her age. Unless it's about something much worse than rudeness. She just needs reminding of how bad it is. I see. You've been her mother for ten years. You owe it to her. A new disciplinary system is in order. Okay, let us get started on it. First, I'll release uh, Lucy from her punishment. Phew. That was an unfair punishment. And there's a new disciplinary system. And now into episode 16.
which is of course Liz visits. Well Lucy, it is nice to be here. I've missed you. Same to you, Liz. It's been months since we last saw each other. I know. It's where I moved to Pulestine after the last school year ended. Coach trips cost 1,560 peas and 350 goes. I know. From this end, coach rides to Pulestin cost 3,000 peas and 750 gals. That's fucking insane. Watch your language, or my mom will send you home. Pocket money day. Since our universe currency was introduced, the exchange rate from pounds to peas and gals is 12,000 peas and 125 gals. Here you go. Thanks, mum. That's equivalent to one pound in old money. That means my mum only paid the equivalent of about 65p for me to come down for a week. Not really. If 3,000 p's and 250 gals is only 25p in old money, the 1,560.250 yeah. is only the equivalent of about 10p. Liz, I noticed you've got a week's worth of nappers in your bag. Yeah, I have. I still need them on. Not to worry. Are you wearing a nappy at the moment? Yeah. Come on, it's time to change you. Poor Liz. I never knew that. And now into episode 17. Which is, of course... Ashley strikes again. What a good day I'm having. Having a good day are you, Lucy? I was until you turned up, Ashley. What the hell are you doing here? There is no need for that kind of language. You naughty girl. You have no right to just turn up here and tell me about my language. It's pretty damn mild compared to yours. Oh, and you best clear off before my mum comes in. She's only in the kitchen. And if she catches you in here giving me grief, you'll be <laughs> taken away by your father. That's a good one, Lucy. Where did you learn it? I'm not joking. I'm being serious. So bug. Before my mom hears. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's time for me to put a nappy on you, as you clearly need one. You do no such thing, Ashley. How dare you come into my house, give my daughter trouble and then threaten her with a nappy. You are very naughty. I'm not threatening her. I'm promising her. It is what she needs so I'll give it to her. So if you'll excuse me, I'll go and put a nappy on her now. No you certainly won't. Ashley, I will not let you put a nappy on Lucy, mm. even if my life depended yeah. on it. <laughs> if you do put a nappy on her, I will have you arrested. Come on Lucy. It's time for your nappy. That naughty girl is going to jail. Ten years, eh? Now we into episode eighteen, which is the series two finale, and it's called The Underwear Problem. <laughs> that disgusting freak. She took all of my underwear. I hate this. How dare she do this to you? Now I have to change your nappers again because of her. I want to go to the prison and throttle her. That naughty girl is right where she deserves to be. Lucy, I promise you, these nappies won't be getting changed for long. Your mother and I are going to buy you new underwear. Thanks, Mum and Dad. I can't help feeling humiliated though. And we don't blame you, sweetheart. We're really angry with her for doing this to you. And we want to put things right for you. And I appreciate it. I hate for you to see me like this. Lucy, you're allowed to be upset. You were wronged by that nasty little monster. We love you to pieces. It pains us to see you so upset. Come here, Angel. And that's it for Series 2, guys. I'll tell you what. Um, we'll look at Series 3 and 4 in the next episode, yeah? Uh, so, 
we'll continue our look at that then. Until then, see ya.